this is the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada here on Rogers TV. I'm Mike James. After four years of COVID precautions, cancellations, and postponements, the Spelling Bee of Canada is back. We're bringing you three events in this year's tournament. This year's Spelling Bee takes place at the beautiful Jemmy Omar Mosque in the Nepean section of Ottawa. The judges are just about set to start the bee, so let's watch. Yes, thank you. I'll now read the rules. An official reads the rules 1 to 15 allowed before the beginning of each contest and will and when the number of contest competitors has been reduced to 2, the official will read rules 16 to 17 unless those present agree unanimously to waive the reading of the rules. The pronouncer, judges and other officials will be in complete charge of the contest. Any questions or protests about the spelling of a word or the running of the contest must be referred to the officials immediately before the beginning of the next round. Their decisions will be final in all matters. No protests will be entertained after the contest has ended. For each contest, there will be an arbiter who, whose duty is to hear and protest any protests as they arise and decide on them before the contest continues. The arbiter's decision shall be final. If possible, each contest should be videotaped or recorded by B officials so that at any point of the sorry, at that any point of contention may be reviewed. This competition is open to all contestants, ages six to eight, primary, nine to eleven, junior, and twelve to fourteen, intermediate. The competition in all words will be chosen from official list verified with dictionary.com and provided by spelling bee officials. The official list is the final spelling authority for the competition. In-person comp in -person competition will be held in each chapter using official words listed and listed and listed rules and regulations. Online competition Preliminary rounds will be held in each region over Zoom using official word lists and list rules and reg regulations. The competition will be oral. Contestants must spell the words orally and the use of pens and or pencils and paper will not be allowed. Contestants may pronounce their words before spelling them, after spelling them, or not at all. For all words with capitals, the speller must indicate the capital, for example, if the given word is Ottawa, the speller must say capital O, T, T, A, W, A, W, A. Once a contestant has begun to spell a word, they may not ask for a word to be repronounced, defined, or used in a sentence. Also, having started to spell a word, a contestant will not be given an opportunity to change letters already pronounced. A speller may retrace, provided that the letters in their sequence are not changed in the retracing. Spellers must make it clear that they are going to retrace before they start retracing. For example, by asking, may I start again? Spellers are required to indicate capitals. Apostrophes and other punctuation are not required. If a word is taken from the list, if a word taken from the list is unclear to the contestant, they may ask for the word to be repronounced, but will not be given a definition or sentence unless the word is a homophone, in which case the pronouncer must give the definition and the example sentence without being asked. The contestant must give the spelling of the word as defined, not a homophone of the word. If a word has more than one acceptable spelling, any spelling listed in the word list tiebreaker list or dictionary.com for that word will be accepted. Officials may disqualify any contestants who ignores a request to start spelling their word within a reasonable length of time. Also, a speller whose spelling of a word is not audible to the officials may have their spelling ruled incorrect. A speller, when a speller fails to spell a word correctly, the next contestant in the same round will be given the same word to spell. Note, rule 15 is for the tiebreaker rounds only. Please note that during the tiebreaker rounds, a new list of words is introduced. These words are not listed in the official intermediate manual word list in the 2024 edition. The table 
officials will announce. We are now switching to the tiebreaker round. If the tiebreaker word is unclear to the contestant, it is the responsibility of the contestant to request that the word be repronounced, defined, and or used in a sentence. The pronouncer will grant the request until the officials agree that the word has been made reasonably clear to the contestant. If a word is a homophone, the pronouncer must give the definition and an example sentence without being asked. Thank you. Your word is ethical. Ethical? Ethical. E T H I C A L. Ethical. Correct. 7698 Zainab. Your word is lithium. Lithium, L-I-T-H-I-U-M. Correct. 6257, Albert. Your word is hyena. Hyena. H-Y-E-N-A. Correct. Hyena. Your word has three pronunciations. Requiem, requiem, requiem. Requiem. R-E-Q-U-I-E-M. Correct. 7694, Hanan. Your word is etymology. Etymology. A. T. A. M. O. L. O. G. Y. Your word is etymology. Etymology? Could you repronounce it? Etymology. E T I M O L O G Y. Your word is etymology. Etymology. E T Y M O L O G Y. Correct. Etymology. Your word is charisma. Charisma. C H A R I S M A. Correct. Seven six nine nine. Your word is dexterity. Dexterity. 
Yes. D, D, E, X, T, I, R, E, T, Y, dexterity. Your word is, oh, sorry. Your word is dexterity. Dexterity. D E X T E R I T Y. Correct. Dexterity. Your word is coexistence. Coexistence? Yes. C O E X I S T E N C E. Coexistence. Your word is theatrical. Theatrical? Correct. T H E A T R E C L E Incorrect. We'll be back with more of the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV. We're back with the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV. Before we get back to the competition, we spoke to the organizer about what it's been like for the spelling bee to finally return after a long period of COVID restrictions. Oh, well, it was a little bit, when we, get, when we got back last year doing the spelling bee like this, it was a little bit tough because um, parents didn't remember and some of the things we didn't remember, but we caught on quickly. And so we had a good spelling bee at the KBC, the Kanata Baptist Church Hall. So it was, it was okay. It wasn't that great. Today we can say it was a great day today. Last year we didn't, we had a lot of kids, but we didn't have, this year is good, this year because we had 35 junior, we had 19 primary, and we had 14 um, intermediate. So this year has been really good. Let's get back to the competition. Your word is hilarious. Hilarious. H I L A R A O U S. Your word is venomous. Venomous? Yes. V E N O M O U S. Correct. Your word is dehydrate. Dehydrate. 
Am I saying it correctly? Yes, you are. E H Y D R A T E. Dehydrate. This concludes our second round, and we have a few students who will be returning to the audience. These students have done very well mastering some challenging words. Let's give them all a big round of applause for a job well done. <laughs> Returning students are Zeynab, 7698, Zubair, 6502. We thank you, all these students, for participating in the Ottawa Carleton Spelling Bee. You are all winners. Job well done. Congratulations. Your word has two pronunciations. Esophagus, esophagus. Esophagus? Yes. Esophagus. E S O P H A G U S. Esophagus? Spelling bee, you are a winner. Six two five seven. Your word is ingredient. Ingredient? Yes. Ingredient. I N G R E D I E N T. Your word it oops. Oh, sorry, right here. Seven six nine five. Fala. Your word is annulment. Could you repeat that? Annulment. Annulment. A N N U L M E N T. Annulment. Your word is whip it. Can you please repeat the word? There are two pronunciations of this word. Whip it or whip it. Whip it. Whip it. Can you repeat the word? Whip it. W. W. W I P 
E, I, T. Your word is citation. Your word is whip it. Whip it. Whip it or whip it. Whip it. W H I P P E T. Your word is influenza. Influenza? Yes. I N F L U E N Z A. Influenza. Your word is capitulate. Capitulate. Am I saying Also it? pronounce, sorry, there's two pronunciations. Capitulate or capitulate. Capitulate. Am I saying it correctly? Yes. Capitulate. C-A-P-I-T-U-L-A-T-E. Capitulate. This concludes round four. We have a student who will be returning to the audience. The student, uh, Buma6706. Has mastered some challenging words. Let's give him a round of applause. Your job well done. We thank Buma for participating in the open We'll be back with more on the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV. We're back with the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada here on Rogers TV. Before we get back to the competition, we spoke to one of the officials about the criteria on judging Language is really powerful and learning uh, new words really benefits kids um, in their everyday life because it gives them um, a broader range to describe their environment. They also benefit from learning how to manage stress and uh, nerves. Uh, they get up in front of people and they have to put themselves out there and it's really difficult sometimes the, as adults we don't understand how valuable that skill is until we have to do it ourselves and it sometimes can be really nerve-wracking and the kids doing that that's a really wonderful skill to learn on top of the educational portion of it let's get back to the competition your word has two pronunciations ammonia Ammonia. Ammonia? Yes. A M M O N I A. Ammonia. Correct. Your word is, your word has two pronunciations niche, niche. Niche, N-I-C-H-E, niche. Your word is? Gradient. Gradient? Yes. G R 
A D I E N T. Gradient. Your word is mystical. Mystical. M Y S T I C A L. Mystical. Your word has two pronunciations, taiga, taiga. Taiga, am I saying it correctly? Yes. T-A-I-G-A, taiga. Your word has two pronunciations, etiquette, etiquette. Etiquette? Yes. Could you repeat, repeat that? Etiquette. Etiquette. E-T-T-I-Q-U-I-T-E. Your word has two pronunciations, etiquette, etiquette. Could you repeat that? Your word has two pronunciations, etiquette, etiquette. Etiquette. E, T, a restart. E T T I Q U E T T E etiquette. Your word is etiquette. It has two pronunciations, etiquette, etiquette. Etiquette. E-T-I-Q-U-E-T-T-E, -E. etiquette. Your word is grittiness. Grittiness? Yes. G R I T T I N E S S. Grittiness. Your word is weevil. Weevil, am I saying it correctly? Yes. Weevil, W-E-E-V-I-L, weevil. Correct. This concludes round six. And we have a few students who will be returning to the audience. These students have done very well mastering some challenging words. Let's give them a big round of applause for a job well done. The competition is heating up. Who will be crowned Spelling Bee Champion? We'll find out when we come back. You're watching the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV.
We're back with the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV. We're down to the final competitors. Let's see who the winner is. Participants, we are now switching to the tiebreaker rounds. Please listen to the rules and regulations for the tiebreaker rounds. Intermediate tiebreaker round. Please note that during the tiebreaker rounds, a new list of words is introduced. These words are not listed in the 2024 intermediate manual list. Since the tiebreaker words have not been studied ahead of time, contestants, you may ask for the part of speech if it is a proper noun, definition, and a sentence. The pronouncer will provide the information for you. Notice that this is a change from our usual format. Please note, if you are not sure if the word is a proper noun, please ask the pronouncer. If the pronouncer says no, it is not a proper noun, then you know the word does not begin with a capital letter. We will reread re rules 13 to 15 again. Officials may disqualify any contestant who ignores a request to start spelling his or her word within a reasonable length of time. Also, a speller whose spelling of a word is not audible to the officials may have his or her spelling ruled incorrect. When a speller fails to spell a word correctly, the next contestant in the same round will be given the same word to spell. If every contestant in a round misspells the same word, all contestants will remain in the competition. If a tiebreaker word is unclear to a contestant, it is the responsibility of the contestant to request that the word be repronounced, defined, and or used in a sentence. The pronouncer will grant the request until the officials agree that the word has been made reasonably clear to the contestant. If a word is a homophone, the pronouncer must give the definition and an example sentence without being asked. Good luck. Your word is karaoke. Karaoke. Can you please repronounce it? Karaoke. Can I have it in a sentence, please? At the party, they had a karaoke machine. Can I have the definition, please? The act of singing along to a music video. Karo karaoke. K-A-R-A-O-K-E. Karaoke. Your word is lymphoma. Lymphoma? Yes. Can I please have the word in a sentence and a definition? With proper treatment, his lymphoma disappeared. A tumor in the lymph nodes. Can I please have the part of speech? It is a noun. So it's just a regular noun, not a common noun? That is correct. Lymphoma. L Y P H O M A. Lymphoma. Your word is lymphoma. Lymphoma, am I saying it correctly? That is correct. Lymphoma, L-Y-M-P-H-O-M-A, lymphoma. Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, we have identified our third place person, 7696 Ahmed, 
Ahmed, if I could ask you to please sit in the back for now. We will now invite to the microphone, in this order, Yogi in front, yes. seven, six, eight, seven, six Yogis standing at the microphone, five, 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 five Sutopa. Yes, I will now read the final two rules. The elimination procedure changes when the number of contestants is reduced to two. At this point, when one contestant misspells a word, the other contestant is given the opportunity to spell the same word. If the second contestant spells a word correctly, plus the next word on the pronouncer's list, then he or she will be declared champion. If the contestant misspells a word on the pronouncer's list, then both spellers continue in the contest. Again, they repeat, if both contestant misspells the same <laughs> word, sorry, then both contestants continue in the contest. Good luck. Your word is? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Your word is irrespective. Irrespective. Can I have the definition, please? Without regard for or no matter what. Can I have the sentence, please? You must stay home and clean your room, irrespective of your previous plans. Irrespective. I, R, R, E, S, P, E, C, T I V E, irrespective. Your word has two pronunciations kiosk, kiosk. Kiosk, may I have the defer definition? A small open fronted structure used to sell newspapers, etc. Kiosk. K I O S K kiosk. Your word is portraiture. Portraiture? Yes. Can I please have it, the definition? The art of painting or taking portraits. Can you please repeat the word? Please repeat the definition? The word. Oh, sorry. Portraiture. Portraiture. Can I have the sentence, please? Karsh was famous for his portraiture. Portraiture. P-O-R-T-R-A-I-T-U-R-E, portraiture. Your word is derelict. Derelict, am I saying it correctly? Yes. May I have the definition? In very poor condition as a result of disuse and neglect. May I use it in a sentence? The old mansion lay derelict for years. Derelict. D E R E L I C T. Derelict. Your word is opacity. Opacity. Can I have the definition? The quality of lacking transparency. Opacity. O P A C I T Y. Opacity.
your word is impersonation. Impersonation. Am I saying it correctly? Yes. May I have the definition? The act of pretending to be another person for the purpose of fraud or entertainment. Could you use it in a sentence? The class clown did an impersonation of the teacher to impress his friends. Impersonation. I M P E R S O N A T I O N. Impersonation. Your word is recursive. Recursive. Can I please have it in a sentence? A recursive puzzle is a puzzle inside another puzzle. Can I have the definition, please? Characterized by recurrence or repetition. Can I have the part of speech? It's an adjective. R E C U R S I V E recursive. Correct. Your word is effusion. Effusion. May you repeat the word? Effusion. May I have the definition? An instance of giving off something such as a liquid or gas. May I have it in a sentence? The research scientists studied the rates of effusion of gases. Can you repeat the word? Effusion. May I have all the information? That is all the information. Oh, it's a noun. That was one thing. Effusion. E S. F U S I O N effusion. Correct. Your word is choreography. Choreography. Can I have the definition, please? The definition is the arrangement of a dance. Can I have it in a sentence, please? The choreography of the ice dance made it a joy to watch. May I please have the part of speech? It is a noun. Choreography. C H O R E O G R A P H Y. Choreography. Your word is prefecture. May I repeat the word? Prefecture. Is it a proper noun? No, it is a noun. May I have all the information? In some countries, a district under the authority of a prefect or governor, he lived in the smallest prefecture of the 43 that make up Japan. May I repeat the word? Prefecture. Prefecture. Am I saying it correctly? Yes. Prefecture, P R E F E C T U R E. Prefecture. Correct. Your word is curriculum. Curriculum. Can I have the definition, please? Subjects comprising a course of study. Can I have the part of speech? It is a noun. The curriculum was mandated by the Ministry of Education. Curriculum. C U R R I C U L U M curriculum. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct.
your word is pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. May you repeat the word? Pumpernickel. We have the definition. A coarse, dark German bread. We have all the information. The wife sent her husband to the bakery to buy pumpernickel for lunch. Pumpernickel. P U M P E R N I C K L E. Pumpernickel. Your, oh, sorry. Your word is geneticist. Oh, oh, darn, I'm so sorry. <laughs> pumpernickel. Your word is pumpernickel. Sorry, everybody. Pumpernickel. Can I have the definition, please? A coarse, dark German bread. Can I have it in a sentence, please? The wife sent her husband to the bakery to buy pumpernickel for lunch. Do I have the part of speech? It is a noun. Pumpernickel. P U M P E R N I C K E L. Pumpernickel. Okay. Your word is prognosticate. Prognosticate? Yes. Can I have the definition, please? To predict the future. Can I have it in a sentence? Some people believe a groundhog can prognosticate the length of winter. Can you please repronounce the word? Prognosticate. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Uh, sorry, it's a verb. Sorry. Prognosticate. Yes. P. R O G N O S T I C A T E Prognostic. And we have a winner in the intermediate division. We'll find out who it is. You're watching the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV. We're back with the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV, where our winner has been crowned in the Intermediate Division. His name is Zyoki Joshi. He's 12 years old and is a student at Canada Montessori High School. He correctly spelled the word prognosticate, which according to the Canadian Oxford Dictionary is a verb. It also can be used as a noun or an adjective, and it means to foretell or prophesize a future event. Second place went to Satopa Das. She's 13 years old and goes to Asbury College in Ottawa. Third place went to Ahmed El Aithi, who is 12 years old and goes to Tarbia Learning Academy in Nepean. Let's talk to the winner. How are you feeling? Puppy. <laughs> what, kind of what kind of preparation did you have uh, to do this? Mm, I just kind of practiced off the word list. I uh, read a lot of books. And did you find some of the words hard? How are the words... Um, how are you able to get out of this unscathed? What's your, what's your method? What's your, what's your success? Mm, just relax and okay. spell you the word. To Toronto? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 And you're going to be representing Ottawa down there. How, how does it make you feel? Congratulations to Yogi Joshi, the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada regional winner in the Intermediate Division. The top three finalists gets a trophy and a cash prize, but for Yogi, he gets an invitation to compete at the National Spelling Bee of Canada final in Toronto later this year. I'm Mike James. Thank you for watching the 2024 Spelling Bee of Canada on Rogers TV.